Okay, are you ready? Yes. Everybody's ready? Well, um... Sorry, I should, I should, I should not press this. Okay. Can you guys get to a little bit closer together? Or you, why are you just standing in front of the embassy? Let me go across the street. Yeah, we go. Okay, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Okay. All right, so I say, I say no, no justice, and you say no peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. Louder, louder. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. We are gathered here today to mark up the second anniversary of the martyr Sheikh Nimr Al Nimr, who was executed and beheaded by the evil, what is so-called Saudi Arabia. Sheikh Noor was a human rights activist. He was, he was speaking on public to expose the corruption of the government. He claimed for people's rights. He tried to apply justice. He opposed the government because they were so corrupt. And so the government captured him, kidnapped him, shot him, four, four bullets in his body, and then executed him. That's why we're protesting today. 
That's why we have to expose them more and more. Saudi Arabia are, are still beheading people and torturing them in their prisons. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Sir. Uh, open hour. Uh, what's the name of the school? Uh, no, 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 just a bunch of people got together. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Okay, I, sh I say, Katif, Katif, don't you cry, and you say, Sheikh Nomer never dies. Katif, Katif, don't you cry! Sheikh Nomer never dies! Katif, Katif, don't you cry! Sheikh Nomer never dies! Katif, Katif, don't you cry! nations are supporting ISIS and what nation created ISIS and supported Al-Qaeda and Osama Bin Laden. It's Saudi Arabia and its affiliates. Saudi Arabia is an ideology, they support the ideology of ISIS, which is killing people and terrorize people just because they don't agree with them. Saudi Arabia and ISIS are the same card. They're the same ideology, they're the same mentality. There are two sides for the same coin. Thank you. So ISIS is just another name of Saudi Arabia. ISIS and Saudi Arabia are the same. Another name of terrorist is Saudi Arabia. So I say, Another name of terrorist, and you say Saudi Arabia. Another name of terrorist. 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 Saudi Arabia. Another name of ISIS. Saudi Arabia. Another name of ISIS. Saudi Arabia. Another name of ISIS. Saudi Arabia. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace.
Another name of ISIS. Saudi Arabia. Another name of ISIS. Saudi Arabia. Another name of ISIS. Saudi Arabia. Another name of terrorists. Saudi Arabia. Another name of terrorists. Saudi Arabia. Another name of terrorists. Saudi Arabia. Do you think we could use a laptop with this? Try it. See if you can do it. Can you hold this out? Yes. I will, yeah. I will depend on you to have pictures and videos and stuff. <laughs> well, we'll see what we get. If you have cell phones, I suggest try and take some pictures. Yeah. The only reason we're with them is because we need the oil, and as soon as we get oil independence, we're good. I mean, I mean, it's no coincidence that Hillary Clinton gets millions of dollars in donations to the Clinton Foundation, and then two days later, during the campaign election, she's spouting the praises of Saudi Arabia. Oh, they're so good. Oh, they're such a great, glorious people with great customs and cultures. Yeah. I just wanted to ask her. So Hillary Clinton, you're for gay rights, right? Well, yes, they're great people. They're great culture, this and that. They're just so great. And you're for women's rights. Being a woman, you are for women's rights. Oh, yes, of course. Women for everything. Women, women, women. But then why do you support Saudi Arabia, who supports Sharia law, which says women can't go anywhere by themselves, and gays get thrown off the rooftop for being gay. Yeah. How does that work? It's all about the money. Who benefits? Who benefits? So, can I ask you, yeah, so what, can you tell me this, what brought you here today? We came here to mark up the second anniversary of uh, Sheikh Dimur Martyrdom. Uh, he's been uh, beheaded by his, his, what is so-called Saudi Arabia uh, in uh, January 2nd, 2016. Uh, just because he exposed the government and just because he spoke the truth and demanded freedom and dignity and abolished discrimination against the people. And what's your personal relationship to this issue? Uh, I'm a follower to Sheikh Nimr and uh, uh, Sheikh Nimr was a godfather to me, to all of us. Uh, I have a, he's a family member of mine, and uh, we support him because he's, he's, lead, he's our leader and he, he brought dignity and uh, claim for, for freedom for us. And um, do you have any concrete uh, demands? Uh, I mean, what are you asking? Is there anything you'd ask of the Saudi government or the US government? Yes, we demand his body to be returned to his family. We also demand the body of um, uh, the, peop uh, the three boys who were uh, beheaded with him, uh, Muhammad Suwaymal, Ali Rabah, and Muhammad Shio. And uh, what we should people know about this struggle? Uh, we also demand uh, the, the uh, justice and freedom of the uh, political prisoners who, uh, who, who's, who be, have been t tortured uh, in, in prisons, and the people should should know the. Uh, uh, the terrorist ideology that Saudi Arabia is, is supporting and and how they are unfair and, and how how much they are oppressive to their own people just because they want freedom just because they, they want dignity and what could the US do what could the people do in the United States the people could could, could vote could vote against the United States, uh, against uh, Saudi Arabia and the United States they could uh, push their congressmen their Senate their president even to uh, intervene with this uh, barbaric uh, actions from Saudi Arabia to, to stop these barbaric actions and to urge the UN to uh, uh, to intervene also in, uh, in, in what Saudi Arabia is doing against its own people and it's, uh, against uh, minors. And uh, how can people find out more information about this issue? Where should they go? I would say uh, go to the social media, speak to the people who live in outside Saudi Arabia because the people inside Saudi Arabia they cannot speak the truth because they are so afraid and so scared of, of the uh, uh, punishment
that the government will will apply on them, um, and what the government will do to them if they if they even speak to the media or let somebody knows about uh, what Saudi Arabia is, is doing. Is there a website? The, uh, there are multiple websites. There are. There is the uh, uh, website of uh, Sheikh Anamur, SK Namur. Uh, there are multiple, uh, there's a, uh, the European uh, Saudi uh, Human Rights Organization, which is, which is uh, EOSHR. Uh, uh, there, is a, there are reports from Amnesty, there are reports from um, multiple organizations. Code Pink is, is a great source. Um, Amnesty Human Rights ha have issued lots of reports about Saudi Arabia and about Sheikh Nimr himself. And, uh, and let me get your name again? My name is Mustafa Al Nimr. I'm a family member of Sheikh Nimr and he was my god my godfather. Sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No more Thank <laughs> you. 
would be a good picture if they stand behind me and I face the. Uh, yeah, if you put, if you stand, just stand with them. With I, them, them. With I have to be here so it can point this to the to the laptop. The laptop will go past. Well, yeah. just the a, uh, so for the picture, it'd be good to have the, the embassy behind you. Ah.